let's welcome in the man. Uh, pick to kind of put all that together and hopefully come up with the winning recipe. Nate Lehman of uh, Providence College and Team USA head coach heading up to Edmonton for the World Juniors. Uh, coach, congratulations on that honor. Uh, you see the names right there, the 29 names listed on the preliminary roster. Uh, I'm wondering this year, uh, compared to years past, how was the selection process different? Well, it, you know, it was very different because we weren't able to have a, a traditional 10-day camp in the summer. Um, you know, normally USA Hockey will have a camp that hosts Finland, Sweden, and Canada. Um, so you really get to see those guys compete against other countries, play at the temple. The tournament usually uh, will be played at. But, you know, it, it's it's a different year for everyone. And, and um, you know, we had a camp uh, in October with basically our top 40 players, 43 players, I believe. And, you know, it kind of, you know, after that, we were able to kind of get down to this group here um, and excited to get going. You know, it's, this is a, a good group. We'll get together. We'll start uh, Sunday and we have to get this group down to the 25 that will enter the bubble. Nate, just to touch on that a little more, there's so many challenges in these unprecedented times. And when you have so many star studded players uh, to choose from how difficult is that process especially in times like this when you had to cut down to 29 you mentioned in october you had 40 plus players there and, and the disappointment of some of these young players well, i mean it's been it's been very difficult um not only because we didn't have that long camp in the summer but also that some of these guys aren't playing yet um so, you know, uh, some guys are playing. We're able to watch and evaluate them, but other guys are just going to kick off their seasons this coming weekend. So, you know, a lot of phone calls, um, a lot of tape. Uh, we really had to rely upon that October camp a great deal. Um, and, you know, it's a pandemic year. Uh, it's different. We have to be flexible. We have to, we have to move. We have to not let any of the circumstances matter and, and just find the right 25 that we can go into the bubble with. Uh, always interested to get a coaching perspective on these short tournaments like this. Um, how is it different from your your coaching philosophy or your approach when you're you know behind the bench at Providence College versus what we're going to see from you and what you need to see from your team, especially early on up in Edmonton? Uh, it's, a, it's a great question. I mean, you know, the big thing is 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 you're you're building much more around the strengths of your group. You know, when, when you're a college coach, you recruit the players and you might be able to recruit to your philosophy or, or how you want to play the game. But, you know, um, in, in a tournament like this, we're, we, have to, we have to find our 25 best players for our country that give us a chance to win the gold medal. And then it's up to the coaching staff to find the strengths of this group and bring those strengths out and play to those strengths. I mean, we want to be a team that dictates. We want to be a team that goes after other teams. And I think this group can do that, you know, and I think that will be one of the strengths of this group. But, you know, the, the big difference in the process is, is making sure that you're building upon the strengths of, of the talent within the group of this age group. Nate, I, I would assume as well, and I'm going to ask you as far as with the high skill and talent, uh, building a team, it's not just about the most talented, skilled players or stick handler or shot. It's about having players that fit a role. And uh, did that come into play here? Because you have to leave off some really gifted players from an offensive standpoint. Absolutely, Ken. It's, it's a big part of the process. It's getting guys to fit the right roles. Um, you know, you've played a long time. You know that it's uh, winning hockey isn't just about skill. It, it, there's a lot of battle that goes involved. Um, there's a lot of uh, structure that can go in there, um, and, and we have to find the best group that that can we can bring the skill out of, but also that can win. I mean, we're you know usually if you're going to win this tournament, you're going to win two to three one goal games going down the stretch. So we have to find all the parts that that we think can bring out uh, winning hockey, can win a gold medal for our country, um, and and getting guys in the right seat of the bus or, or getting guys for the right roles is absolutely a big part of that process. Some familiar faces, uh, certainly from the players that we saw last year's silver medal team uh, back on the roster for this year's team. Familiar faces when it comes to your coaching staff, too. A reunion of sorts, some coaches coaching elsewhere, but bringing those parts back uh, that made up a, a big role in that 2015 Providence College Friars National Championship. Take us through some of your assistant coaches, your video coordinator, and how you assembled that staff. Well, uh, you're right, Jameson. Uh, you know, there's some 
familiarity, um, you know, but I was also fortunate that Coach Mayotte and uh, Steve Miller had worked in the tournament uh, the past several years. And I think that was important. You know, I, I hadn't worked in the tournament since 2009. I wanted some people that have worked in the tournament um, recently and, and can bring me up to speed on, on, you know, the paces of the tournament, the back-to-back -to -back games, um, the schedule, how guys might wear down. There's a lot of ins and outs in these, in these tournaments. And I thought um, having two, two coaches on the staff that were familiar with the tournament was very important. And then Ted Donato brings a good offensive mind. He's, uh, he'll work with our power play. And then and obviously we have the best video coach in, in the world and Teresa Feaster. Nate, I'm going to ask you about a player on your Providence College team, and I'm invested with the New Jersey Devils, as people know along the way. Been there a long time, so I want to ask about the growth of Tice Thompson, and can Devils fans expect uh, him to be a National Hockey League player uh, with uh, the way his progression has uh, evolved? I, yeah, I mean, I, I would say I, I'll be shocked if he's not in the NHL at some point in his life. Um, I think he's a pro now for everything except his body. You know, his body's still catching up. Um, he, he brings, you know, he was third in the nation in scoring last year. So he brings the offense. But what people don't know about Tice is what he brings every day in practice. And he brings that pro mentality of every rep means something to him. Every shot means something to him, how he prepares each day for practice. Uh, in a lot of ways, he's a coach's dream. You know, and he, he's our captain this year. Uh, we're expecting big things. Uh, I think he'll be a top five player in the country offensively. So, you know, I, I think the Devils fans have a lot to look forward to with Tice. Oh, boy. I don't know if you're going to be able to uh, control yourself the rest of this show. Uh, it's it's, a, it's <laughs> good to hear for sure. For the Devils, but, yeah. uh, you know, we never know how these players uh, progress, but it's, it's right. exciting because you need to find players in the third round and fourth rounds that can be impact players and help your organization yeah. grow, and, and the Devils think they have one in Tice Thompson. All right, a lot of impact players certainly on uh, Team USA's preliminary roster. Uh, Coach Lehman, appreciate your time. Wishing you nothing but the best up there in Ed Edmonton. Uh, represent the red, white, and blue uh, proudly, please. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for having me, guys. All right. Good coach luck, Coach. Nate Lehman, uh, head coach of Team USA and head coach of the Providence College Friars uh, in Hockey East.